hi, hello. So for this week's video, I'm kind of still doing a drawing whatever I want thing, but it's more generally focused than me trying to get out of the art block hole. This is me trying to get back into drawing finished pieces because I haven't drawn like a finished piece in my own style style for like a month, uh, maybe more because of my pre-recorded videos. And I've just been a sad sack of potatoes. So I decided to do this because I wanted to. And basically, this is, this is the video. I'm drawing dragon pets as humans or my dragon pets as humans. So basically, I went to the Renaissance Festival for my birthday, right? I, I wanted to do that. I went, I had a great time, and I purchased two dragon pets. I only was gonna purchase one, but they both looked really cute. And so I got two. Um, don't, I, I'm okay with money, definitely. I'm definitely not terrible. Um, definitely not an impulsive buyer. <laughs> anyway, I usually, I am a Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid fan and it, that, that anime influenced me way more than it should have in a lot of different categories of my life. Every time I get a dragon themed thing or like a dragon plushie or statue, I kind of, I like, I have, it's either green and I name it Toru or I give it a human form. That's what I did with these two. I gave them a human form. I also have another dragon that's a human form, but it's more like a statue of a dragon. Anyway, we're gonna focusing on these guys. So, oh, I just remembered. I should say this before I start the rest of my video. If you are, if you are not subscribed and you like my art, you should subscribe. If you are already subscribed, you should share this video and like it and comment and boost it so other people can see my art. Also, I think I forgot to I think I forgot to mention this in my last video, so I'm gonna say it because I just remembered it staring at my headphone cord. I use the audio in this video isn't always great because I use a headphone mic to record because the other mics I have, okay, one is like doesn't exactly work the greatest, and then the other one is super quiet, so I have to like scream to get maybe decent audio. Um, depends on if it really like picks me up or not. And usually it's like I'm recording and it sounds like this and I sound like I'm like talking like this. It's like super low and so I end up using my headphones mic. They're $15 headphones. <laughs> and I really hate the audio quality of my videos and I want to get a new mic. So I have a Kofi where I have a fund to get me a new mic. So. Um, if you have any money to donate there to help improve my videos, please. No pressure though. Um, just subscribing and sharing is good enough for me. <laughs> okay, now on to the actual video. I'm so sorry for shilling for that long. Okay, so for the actual video, I already had, whenever I looked at them, I took them home. I already had like basically, I thought about their personalities because you. Oh, for most character designs, you have to think of some sort of personality or else it's like, well, what are they, <laughs> you know? And so for Helio, their personality is like this very, they're very, they're, okay, so I based their design off, like, I made their design like an ice rogue, and my idea for their personality is somebody who has, like, had things rough, and knows how to, like, get around, and, like, knows how to survive, and isn't afraid of breaking rules, but is also a very uptight person. I don't know how else to explain it, like, also, um, their pronouns are um, he, they, them. Woo, we love trans mask people. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I gave him his design. His design is, it's mostly this all black suit. Um, then this like winter jacket with the jacket on there having a, like a little necklace thing that has a piece of um, their hoard on it. So I made this like magic system and I made kind of building a fantasy world. It's, this fantasy world and I may not be related to the fantasy world I just showed you because that, that last week. But in the realm, in the universe where these dragons exist, the only way for a dragon to not completely be weakened and be defenseless is to have at least one piece of their hoard on them at all times. So each of them have a gem from a hoard that they have had or have. And this may be the only piece of their hoard they have left, but as long as they keep that gemstone on them, they will be powerful and that it's not going to be easy to hurt them or kill them. So that, that's why each of them have a stone around their neck. I just, just thought it would be easier to... Right there, on the neck. And so 
And the backstory essentially for Helio is there was a great war between humans and like other like more humanoid things and dragons. And the dragons ended up losing because of this whole horde thing because it's kind of hard to take, you know, gemmed stones out into battle and they're kind of easy to see on like, you know, a giant dragon. Oh, look, the sparkly thing, let me shoot at it or, you know. And so a lot of dragons died. A lot of rare types of dragons died. And this only really left like a very finite amount of like generalized like basic dragons like ice dragons and dragons that can be breathe fire and dragons that can like do things with water and stuff like that. And this also left dragons not really being able to go into their dragon form. So they have a thing called I'm gonna I call it a like humanoid form because it's not a full human form even though these guys can have make themselves a few full human form. Basically this form is more comfortable for them while being more size friendly to the rest of the world. So they can still, they still have their scales and their horns. In some cases they bring out, they let their wings free, but they're, they're like smaller. They walk on two legs, they have hands. They still, you know, even though it is still more, it's more comfortable for them, but it's also still like fine. Also, I should mention, I questioned Stella's design and how old I was gonna make her multiple times because I was like, what if I make her small? That would be so cute. And I ended up changing my mind. And then, um, oh, also each different type of dragon has like a different thing because according to their magic, that would happen like according like their lifespan. And I'll explain that more with Stella. So Stella is a star dragon. I mean, I think that's kind of obvious here. <laughs> I'm not very creative <laughs> with names. Um, and most rare types of dragons and Stella's kind of rare, she's a, she's a star dragon, were killed, right? But the only reason Stella survived was because maybe like when the dragons realized they were about to lose this war, they froze, they froze Stella and I think they froze a bunch of other different types of dragons, uh, rare dragons, so that there could still be more rare dragons and like, you know, like more specialized dragons because star dragons are actually super powerful because their lifespan, their natural lifespan, if they're not killed, is the length of the nearest star. So they basically will live as long as the sun does, which is basically immortal, even though it's kind of not immortal. While other different types of dragons like have like a cycle. So I'm not sure how Helio, which is the ice dragon, uh, would work because they're water and water is constantly transitioning. If that means like, it would be like a Phoenix situation. Actually, that'd be really cool. It might be. I still have to think about that. But I do know how Stella's situation would work, or if there was like a rock dragon, like they would live as long as stone, you know? And um, her personality is like very fun, happy, and carefree because like she's a really powerful dragon. She doesn't have to really worry about anyone hurting her. <laughs> and the story is, or the beginning of the story, how these two met is um, Helio was wandering around an icy area, obviously. And he found Stella frozen in ice and was like, what is going on? And then he melts her. And then they ask her, why do we know? Why are you alive? What are you doing here? And, you know, she's just like, oh, I, I got frozen, you know, to preserve dragons. And they're like, how many more are there? And then she's like, I don't know. And then they're like, that's great. And then they're like, and then they're like, how long have you been frozen? And she's like, I don't know, since maybe like 1500 years ago. And then he's like, what? And that is their whole story, basically. Or not their whole story, but that's how they meet and that's kind of how they act. Cause she is very like carefree and fun and like loves to like joke. And because he's so uptight and so paranoid about being like killed, you know, by humans. It, like if you make a wrong move, you know, they might hurt you. And then she's like, oh, it's fine. It's whatever. Let's just, let's just have fun. And they're like, no, we can't just do whatever. I also tried to give um, Helio semi-ish modern clothes, even though they're not really in the modern time compared to Stella's clothes. Um, I was also thinking like, you know, Stella, like is the type of person who does not really care about anything. Like I kind of gave Helio the more, like a more like modest E-ish outfit to like show the like uptightness and I kind of, I gave Stella the more like not modest E outfit to show like the carefreeness because I feel like the easiest way to tell if a character is carefree is like 
how modest they are. <laughs> At least that's how I kind of do it with my characters. Like the more like uptight they are, the more like likely they are to be in a turtleneck. I don't know, I because I feel like you're more like, even though that's not exactly always the case with people, but like I feel like it visually tells people something. I don't know. I might be crazy. I might. I might be. I might be absolutely insane. <laughs> anyway, um, I really like this drawing of these two. They're my fun little little dragons. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Next week, I'm going to have another sort of redesign-y video. But you guys get to see some of my old ancient, 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 ancient OC. Well, one of them. I might I might do another video like that if it, if it gets, if I get, if it, if it does good. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching if you have. I really appreciate it. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.